Bienvenidos amigos and welcome back to another episode of More Live Diaries and today we're checking out Playa Caralleros as we've heard that this is one of the nicest beaches in the Puerto Vallarta area located just in Nayarit so let's go check that out. up and about to hit the road we're heading to Playa Carete Ca we're heading to Playa Carreros and we've heard online that this is one of the nicer beaches in Puerto Vallarta and surrounding areas it's actually in Nayarit uh, right by Punta de Mita basically between Punta de Mita and Sayulita so we're gonna go discover this beach and i hope it's as nice as we've been hearing online let's go so we're on the road right now heading to caralleros beach playa caralleros and we haven't heard much about it yet. we had a friend that went there and uh, her videos look beautiful and then I looked it up online and it has a whole bunch of five-star ratings. So apparently it's a very quiet beach. There's no vendors there. There's no umbrellas. You bring all of your own stuff. There's one restaurant. I think there's a barracuya there. But yeah, we've never really heard much about it. Have you? This is the first I'm hearing about any of it. Because Mark <laughs> is basically taking me on this surprise trip. He's so romantic. I've, he planned it all. He's like, what is she talking about? Because I've just imagined that that's what's happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're heading there now. Uh, we're about running three hours later than we wanted to originally leave, but that's how we roll. Our own fault. Yeah, we, we are slow, we're in, slow the in the morning. But yeah, overall, uh, very excited to check out this beach. Now the issues with looking up beaches or asking people um, online is that it changes basically day to day. So one day you can be at the beach and it could be low tide, beautiful, clear water, um, perfect temperature. And the next day it's like high tide, choppy waves, debris, uh, debris in the water. So um, that's why it's always good. I've seen people reach out via Facebook groups like, hey, how's this beach? Has anyone been in the last couple of days? But uh, for example, this beach here, Caralleros, I looked online, the most recent review was like a couple weeks ago, so it could be very different from what I read, but um, yeah, we're on the road now, it's about an hour away, so uh, we'll keep you all updated. up gang um, easy drive took us just over an hour and uh, yeah smooth drive overall no traffic at all just a little bit of construction that was maybe for like one or two minutes but the road once you turn turn off the, the highway to come to this playa is absolutely mangled so I'll put some wear and tear on your car but overall um, easy to get here as always, and we enjoyed the ride. It's been a while, right? Since we took this little highway down. It's been a long time. I don't remember the last time we came out this way. Me too. But we haven't seen the beach yet. Uh, $100 for parking if you're parking right close to the beach. 
uh, yeah, 100 pesos or there's some free parking, but it was all taken. And then there's more free parking near like Baracuya, which is a five to 10 minute walk. So we weren't uh, willing to do that. So 100 pesos it was, and we seem to be right on the beach. Let's go check it out. We've got everything, the gringo chairs, gringo umbrella, Tommy Bahamas from Costco, trusted, and uh, all of the toys you can imagine. Brought the boogie board, hopefully catch some waves today. And uh, let's check out this beach right now. Absolutely beautiful here. White powdery sand. We're like 10 second walk from the car. What do you think? Really nice. Yeah, like haven't seen powdery sand like this since we've been to Mexico. And it is kind of like, I don't know, reminds me a bit of like the Philippines for me. Like the water and the sand so far. Yeah. Barry and I is gonna go test out the water, bring the GoPro in there and uh, probably go for a little walk and show you guys a little bit more of this beautiful beach. The beach overall isn't that big, but it continues. Um, it's like a mini kind of bay on the other side of Punta de Mito. Yeah, just overall really nice. Not too crowded for a Sunday too. good here and um, the powdery white sand is absolutely amazing some of the best that we've seen here just a beautiful beach all together the kids and Kathleen are in the water right now so I'm gonna go join them bring the GoPro let's check out how clear this water actually is What do you think? I love 
love it. The sand's so soft. There's no, like, there's not very many rocks at all that go into the water. It's pretty clear. Yeah, we heard there's no food vendors on this beach and we haven't seen any vendors in general. There's a restaurant, Baracuya, which is a very good restaurant. It's kind of busy there too, but it's nice just having to bring your own food, not being bothered by anyone. It's very, very quiet in comparison to like Playa Camarones. Yeah, it's like pretty chill, small, like groups of small families, mm -hmm. uh, lots of space and the water, the sand is so soft, and the water is so nice. It's like a nice gradual walk out there, like not yeah. a huge drop off anywhere. It's really nice. Overall, I'd rate this beach like, like top of our list, top three for sure, of what we've seen. Um, like we said, every beach is a hit and miss. We've gone to Bucerias, we've gone to Nuevo Vallarta, San Pancho, Sayulita when it was very swimmable and other times it's not swimmable because the waves are too strong. So right now it's beautiful. I think and the waves have picked up a bit though. Waves have picked up, but it's still shallow enough for it to like, you're able to jump over the waves as people get, <laughs> as people get <laughs> rocked over there. That's funny. It's very raw. There's like little uh, houses up on the hill here, but otherwise there's not much around here. No big hotels or anything like that, so it's very nice.
was the one and only vendor we've seen, the candy vendor. They've got bomb sweets and uh, we all have sweet tea. Not sweet tooth, sweet tea. Somos golosos. And we're gonna dig into some candy. So we got gummy worms for Cali. We got some mango for me. Gummy bears. Yeah, gummy bears. Gummy worms. Ah, uh, gummy bears. Is that what do you have? Watermelon. Little ones. Little watermelons. And then. And then some nuts. He's a squirrel for nuts. <laughs> a squirrel for nuts. A squirrel for nuts. And what do you say, G? One. Yes, yes. The watermelons definitely have to be up there for me. Ooh. The mango is a must cop. If it's tahin, there's also another. Candy from the candy carts are always the best because they kind of sit in the sun as the guy walks around. And it get nice and warm in the nuts too. Oh. Warm nuts. <laughs> warm nuts, so excellent pickup. Although they're not cheap. And um, especially here, it he probably knows he's like the only vendor that walks around. So definitely not cheap, but well worth it for a little snack. post sugar turns into the biggest menace like classic sugar rush where he just does bad things non-stop he threw sand at me now he's hitting the umbrella even though i didn't ask him to oh cali no hey classic sugar rush with this kid look at him Oh, no. No. Why? Why did you do that? Playa Caralleros. Very beautiful, top notch beach here. We absolutely loved it. Water was great. It was warm still, but at least it was enjoyable to swim in. The kids can come swim as well. And uh, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful, white sand. And uh, I think the next beach for us to check out is a beach called La Plancha. It's right before Punta de Mita. It's known as like the surfer spot, but you have to park and walk there. So it's a little bit uh, more difficult to get to. You have to like cross a Rio apparently. Uh, croc infested Rio. So uh, we'll see if we can maybe try to leave the kids at home for that one. But La Plancha, apparently, a really good, uh, cool place to surf. Very low key, like Playa Caralleros here. And uh, it's definitely a beach we want to check out. And Lo de Marco is also a place we might want to go and stay um, over one night. We'll see. But uh, just another beautiful place. Overall, a really nice day. We spent a lot of time in the water and uh, 
I feel like we really needed this. We needed to get out of Puerto Vallarta. It had been a while. Although we do go to the beach every single weekend. Um, it's usually closer ones and we haven't been on the Nayarit side in quite a, uh, quite a bit of time. So it was really nice to kind of get away. So Mark surprised me with this beautiful day at this new beach and I knew nothing about it, but I can say I absolutely love it. The beach is like powder, the water was clear, we could go swimming, it was quiet, not a lot of vendors, not a lot of people. Overall, a great experience and what a sweetheart he is to plan this surprise. Did it live up to that? I didn't have hype for it because we didn't know where I was going, but it was a great day. guys on that Playa Caralleros. Playa Caralleros is a must come to. I, uh, in my opinion, significantly better than Punta de Mita. A lot more chill than Sayulita. Visually, I like San Pancho better. Would you agree? But the water quality is a little bit better here than in San Pancho and there's no rocks uh, here as well. I like this. Kathleen likes this one guys, so a must visit. We will put the map down below and uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff to help us keep on going, to help keep the lights on in the MLD studio. And we'll catch you in the next episode guys. This is our journey. More live berries, peace. Which beach is your favorite? Sayulita. You like Sayulita? Surf on, dude. Kali. Hello. Which beach you like? Why are you? Kali, <laughs> why are you mad? <laughs> <laughs>